Welcome back everyone to another soap review. Today I am starting a new series on Sterling Soap Company. I did try them almost a year ago and I tried a couple bars from them. I tried boat drinks, which I did not like at all. I tried Sharp Dressed Man, which was kind of the same fragrance as Creed Adventist Cologne. And I thought that was a really good bar. And I also tried Sterling Blue from them, which was another cologne type scent. And I thought it was a really, really amazing scent. So I decided I finally would get around to trying more soap from them. And I'm happy to be starting this series up. It has been highly requested and you ask, I listen. So here we are. It's been long overdue. And the other thing I'll say about them is they have some of the most affordable, lowest prices on the market for all natural soap. So I would highly suggest checking them out. They also have shave soap and a few other things on their website. So there's quite a bit on there. Um, they have like beard butters and oils and they might even have colognes and they're all pretty much some of the lowest prices out there, non-wholesale. So I would definitely recommend trying them if you haven't already. From everyone that I've talked to that have tried them, they've all enjoyed it. So this review will be on a bar that it's a couple days late, a couple days past the holidays, couple days past Christmas, but that's all right. We have the Christmas Eve bar. So we're going to check this one out today. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, I'm assuming this is limited edition, so I'm not sure if this is still going to be on the website by the time you see this video. But if it's not this year, it might be next year. So let's go over the ingredients because these bars of soap are actually made with tallow. So that does make them unique. So let's go over the soap here. We have Beef tallow is the number one ingredient here. And then we have a few other kinds of oil from palm, coconut, olive oil, castor, fragrance oil, and then we have distilled water and lye. So they are pretty basic, but I think beef tallow is kind of their, their main thing for their bars of soap. I have noticed it is a nice it's a nice lather and it definitely leaves you more moisturized than some other bars might so here it is one more time it's also cool because they always put the batch number on the back here so you can always see how it's handmade and handcrafted so there it is these are five and a half ounce bars just about Yeah, it pretty much has a basic look to it. Um, for the most part, I don't believe they usually put, if you'll notice, I didn't really read any kind of colorants in here. There's no mica or oxide or anything like that. For the most parts, I don't think they do actually really add colorants to their bars either. So it is pretty simple. So here it is. They definitely have a little more of like a greasy feel to them. That's from the beef tallow but they do lather really well in the shower and you don't, you're not gonna feel greasy afterwards. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, the first thing I smell is pine. I do smell some pine and some, some spruce in here. It has a little bit of a woodsy scent, but it's not too overpowering either. If I'm not mistaken, I think I smell some cranberry and maybe some clove or some cinnamon. Whatever spice is in here though, it's not overpowering. It's more of a blend. So it blends really well with the cranberry. I would say this definitely smells kind of like a what a Christmas candle it might smell like, or a Christmas, like a Christmas wreath. If you can imagine what that scent would be like, that's what I would compare this to. Like it's definitely woodsy first, and then you get more of the clove, the cranberry, or whatever that is, kind of a spice berry blend. Some hints of cinnamon. There actually is some hints of something else that's a little bit on the sweeter side in here too. Maybe a tiny bit of uh, sugar fragrance in here. 
this really does smell like what you would imagine a Christmas candle would smell like. If you can think of uh, a Christmas wreath scented candle, this is pretty much what you could expect. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It, it, it's a really nice scent. It's Christmassy. It really does smell like a candle. I'm telling you, this smells like a candle. Big time smells like a candle. It smells kind of warm. You get a little bit of that woodsy evergreen scent and then it hits you with some cranberry. Um, more of a sweeter cranberry than a tart cranberry. And then you also get some sort of some sort of spice, but it's not really it's not really strong. Like if it is cinnamon, again, it's more of a sweeter cinnamon than an overpowering spicy scent. So that's nice. It, it blends together all really well. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty good bar. Uh, I would recommend this definitely. So if you see it on their website, I think it's definitely worth checking out. I just dropped the box. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna wrap up this review. Let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time.